Well, next month is an important one for Baltimore voters. It's the primary to determine who will make the final ballot to become the city's next mayor. Political reporter Pat Warren takes a look at the candidate who has dedicated himself to the fight against crime. Public safety is vital to the residents of Baltimore City. T.J. Smith grew up in the city's neighborhoods, went through the city's public schools, and suffered the city's pervasive culture of violence. He's a former police spokesperson and public servant with a very personal story. My name is T.J. Smith. My brother is Dion Smith. He was killed in Upton. We've seen the violence personally affect so many people in this city. Um, and even in the course of this pandemic, we haven't really seen it let up. This is Smith's first run for public office, and he's focused on safety, schools, and quality of life. I elected to run as a non-politician because I feel like it's time to reset, to get to a place where uh, a regular human is doing the work of the people and not trying to be this politician and, and rise to fame that way. There's been some criticism about the lack of transparency in city government. We know that there is, unfortunately, some waste, fraud, and abuse that goes on, and we have to really hold ourselves accountable to that same level of scrutiny and make sure that that's not something that's commonplace in government. There have been a number of polls, and the leaders seem to vary from poll to poll. Smith was recently ranked at the top. So what does that say about this race? It says that the people see everyone as potential leaders for their city, which is a good problem to have in a lot of ways. There are candidates in both the Democratic and Republican primaries, but because of the number of registered Democrats in the city, chances are likely that the winner of the Democratic primary will win the general election as well. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ.